Hong Kong Sports Institute is one of the biggest sports institutes in the world mandated to provide training to athletes and also offers academic qualification in the field of sports training. Uh, the Hong Kong Sports Institute is the government-funded agency which delivers elite sports training to the federations that uh, meet the benchmark standards to be able to access that. So when the federations meet that standard, all of their athletes can come in here to live. We then employ the coaches, we build a whole high performance system around them, and we train them so that they can uh, achieve their best on the international stage, whether that's Asian Games, Olympic Games, or World Championships, Asian Championships. Um, so right now we have 17 sports that have uh, qualified to access our services. And um, we have altogether about 1,200 athletes, and uh, we have a hostel for them to live in. The institute that promotes and supports Hong Kong sport development is located in Fo Tan, Sha Tin district of Hong Kong. The institute, then called the Jubilee Sports Center Ordinance, was enacted in 1977 with an aim of improving sports standards in the territory. Our concept of the system of developing any athlete is that really you must have a combination of um, biological, psychological and social factors that you have to take care of. So the biological factors obviously are genetic giftedness, physiology, response to training, and so we have to have good coaches, good equipment, good facilities to enable that to happen. Originally in its first form it was about um, 1981 when it was originally built. But this current version, so it's gone through a number, of, depending on government policy, it's changed a few times, and this current operation has been in place since 2004. But this new uh, redevelopment that you see with these new buildings, that just completed last year. So that was the latest um, uh, iteration, if you like, of our development. Uh, we're really responding to government policy, and government policy is really important in driving how we develop. In this era of gender equality, Dr. Trisha Lehi, the chief executive director, is one female ambassador whose idea is to transform sport for the benefit of every woman and girl in Hong Kong and the world at large. Go and ask somebody for help. And now here's the secret of asking for help. If the first person you ask doesn't understand you, or fails to give you the answer that you need. This does not mean that you have a problem that's unsolvable. It only means that that person didn't understand you. So, solution, find another person. And you keep asking and asking until you find that one person who will give you the help you need and who will help you to see tomorrow and to overcome. Because sometimes we can't do things by ourselves. But the key issue is the answer initially will lie within ourselves. She says participation of women in sport is commendable and she encourages women to get involved as they are agents of change in any community. I think women absolutely can be agents of change. We can be agents of change in our own lives and we can be agents of change in our families and in our societies and in our political structures. We absolutely can. Why not? There's nothing about me as a woman that's radically different to uh, what a man has. We are all human beings. First and foremost, we are human. So for me, the concept of gender difference is a socially imposed construct. It is not a real thing. Dr. Trisha says Hong Kong Sports Institute has contributed a lot towards sport development in Hong Kong and will continue to do so. We do dream that Hong Kong, when it goes to the Olympics and the World Championships, and of course the regional uh, games as well, that we consistently come back with medals and that athletes believe in themselves and can put Hong Kong on the map as a small powerhouse, powerhouse in sport. If you're still wondering where such an institute gets its funding, it's purely government funding and sponsorships. So right now the government policy is very much focused on creating a culture of sports in Hong Kong in also improving the high performance uh, uh, athletes opportunities and also making Hong Kong a, a venue that would be attractive for major events to come. So with that kind of government policy then comes really good funding for high performance sports. Mm -hmm.